Hey there guys and welcome back to my channel. Last time you'll see me was last year, it was 21. And I'm sorry that I didn't post anything on it. Um, I really wanted to do that, but I didn't find time. I was a little bit nervous about it. And I'm in my exam year of my uh, study, so I'm more focused on that part. But I'm on spring break, so I thought I will shoot some videos and upload them for the progress. And maybe I will be <laughs> uploading consistently, I hope, but you are not here for that. Um, just get into the video. I'm going to show you my bookshelves of 2022, how it looks like. A little bit of fun facts about my bookshelves. I didn't read till the year 2020, so I had one bookshelf, a small uh, baby bookshelf, but it broke last year uh, because I was redoing my room and I already planned to get a bigger bookshelf, but I thought I wanted to keep it and to put my other small ones away, but it was already damaged in the back and when I tried to move it, it just broke. One big bookshelf and two little ones. So a little bit I organized. I did organize it on genre. So my fantasy books were my fantasy books, my um, horror, my horror, and my spread by spreader are to go on. Um, but I did redo it. So I have a shelf for my favorite books. Those are mostly five star reads, but some four stars snuck into it. I have my series shelves, um, and my I only put the series on it if it has one or more than one book in it. So if a series has two books, I put it on my series shelf. If it has only one, I don't put it on there yet. So then we have my TBR. And then I have also a shelf of almost the kids' book. Um, this one you see here mainly are English books. Because I'm Dutch, I have also Dutch books, so, and I put those on my other shelves here. But I will show you. Just let go into this video. Later. I hope you will enjoy. Please already like and subscribe because it helps. Thank you. And then I will go into. Show you my books. So here are my first bookshelves. These are all my favorite books I have. So we have here Rarity by Colleen Hoover, great book. The Chain, The Other People, Two Can Keep a Secret. Then She Was Gone, You Were a Liar, Cinderella's Dad. All the Right Places is the first book that got me back into reading. It's one of my favorites till this day. Truly the Vicious Wicked Little Deeds is a horror book and I don't see a lot of people read this one, but it's really great, so rise up. Then we have She Drives Me Crazy. This was a four star book for me, but I really like it with the other books, so I put it on there. Then we have Loveless by Alice Osman, Date You Give, Lock Every Door and the Take You and Any Thorn. And the next shelf I have here Camel and, and Tote Back with Reading Minds. So you move this a little bit here so we have series right now coming so we have one of the snacks and one of the slime it's in the runner but a good girl's guide to murder by holly jackson the sequel good girl bad blood and as good as that is the final book in the series and i have the third three books in the cray series we have cray by crazy wolf crush and cove so now we have Two books in the series already, a third book is coming out very soon. So we have Kingdom of the Wicked and Kingdom of the Course, both by Carrie and Man Man Mascalo. I don't know, pronounced it wrong, probably. 
Then we have also Run Under, but we have Six of Crows and Cooked Kinder by Leigh Bardugo. A mystery kind of books, A Start in Charlotte, and The Last Artist. Then we have a series I didn't thought I would really like, but I do. I have only read Chatter Me, but I have also the second book Unravel Me by Tari Mavi. Then we have, of course, the Shadowbone series, Shadowbone, Seek a Storm, and Rune Rising. And then here I have some glasses. Then we have the shelves. This is only fantasy, actually. Okay, right. We have here some bookmarks in it. And I only put my bookmarks here in it if I have finished my book. So then I can count how much I have read. And on this I buy new books. So I move it up to there for now. We have A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah Dumas, the second book A Court of Mr. Fury. I read this, those two and the rest not yet. A Court of Wings and Rune, A Court of Frost and Starlight. And now we have the only hardback I have for Sarah Dumas is A Court of Silver Flames. Then we have Rick Riordan's section. We have Percy Jackson and the Lion Thief. This is my mom's copy, so I have it on the shelf. But I have my own series copy. I got this from my brother for my birthday. So we have Persian Jackson Lion Thief, Persian Jackson Sea of Monsters, Persian Jackson the Titus Cursed, Persian Jackson the Battle of the Labyrinth, and Persian Jackson the Last Olympian. The series, series, what happened after this, we have the Heroes of Olympus. We have the Heroes of Olympus, the Last Hero, the Heroes of Olympus, the Son of Neptune. I find it really funny that these books are much thicker than those books. Oh. Then we have my Magnus Chase Rick Riordan series. These are in hardcover books. I must say I really, really love them. I'm right now reading this one. So I'm reading Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, the Sword of Summer. I'm reading this one. And it's really thick, almost 500 pages, but I really, really, really enjoy it already. So Then we have Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, the Hammer of Thor. And then the third book. Is Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, the Ship of the Dead. Those covers are pretty stunning. And I really already like the series. So, Then we have some romance series. We have Anna and the Friends Kiss. Uh, the second book, Iceland, the Happily Ever After. And Lola and the Boy Next Door. Then we have one book. What is a series. But I don't have only have the first book. But I didn't have any place to put it anywhere else. And that is City of Ghosts by Normal, I will say P swap, but she writes on the Victoria swap on this book. So we have first shelf of my TBR. We have Nos for HP2, I don't know how to pronounce that, by Joe Hill, The Killer Inside by Matthew Frank. This is a book I didn't see anywhere on BookTube or BookTok, so but the back did speak to me, so that's why I got it. Gone Girl by Jenny Flynn, If You Were Liars by M.L. Rio, The Woman in the Window by A.G. Finn, Ninth House by Labor Dugo, M Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tar Tari, The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rodriguez. Why do they need to have some hard names to pronounce? We have Sorcerer Ferns by <laughs> I don't see Margaret Ward. Word I don't know. Probably not. Eliza and Monster by Francesco Sapia. Lost Boy by Christine Hendry. Last Time I Lied by Riley Saker. Imaginary Friend by Stephen Chibaski. Fable by Andrea Dion. A Little Life by Hanya Yungiara. My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. The Invisible Life of Ellie LaRue by V.A. Swap and The Family Upstairs by Elisa Jewell. Then we go down. I have a plan. I move it to the other side because I cannot show you this book. So these are my books. So we have here Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Niffin. The Poppy War by R.F. Yuan. Real Prayers by Holly Black. Laura by Alexander Brecken. The Guest List by Lucy Folly. V.A. Swap's Galleon's book. This is her recent book that she has published. Empty Bone Witch by Rin Tropico. Then we have I Think I Love You by Andrea Sombri. We have Aki Love by Colleen Hoover. Nevermore by 
Nevermore the Trials of Morgan and Crow. This is the first book in a series, but I don't have the second one, so I put it on the shelf. Some of Gilius by Madeleine Miller. Some Girls Do by Jennifer Dugan. Girl in Pieces by Kelly Blaskow. I got this book because Taylor Swift has made a song for this movie. Is Where the Crawdads Sing by Della Owens. The song is also a star by Nicola Yoon. It only happens in the movies by Holly, not by Holly Black, Holly Brun. And then the In Her Escape by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Steve again. We have here, we have four English books of, for, of Steve again. We have Salem's Lot by Steve again. Uh, on writing, it is a non-fiction book about how he writes his stories, kind of. He gives some advice for writers. Great book. We have Steve Skin Mystery. Then we have Steve Skin 112263. Then we go to my Dutch titles and book. We have Mr. Mercedes by Steve Skin, Joyland, Pet Cemetery, Rival, Carrie, Kujo. Um, this is the Dead Zone, but the Dutch title is Don't Look at Dilemma. Then we have If It Please Bleeds, and the Dutch title is Also Blues. We have It. We have Sleeping Beauties, um, written by Stephen King and Owen King. Um, original title in Dutch is uh, Schone Slapsters. Then we have The Outsider with the Dutch title The Buitenstaander. Then we have The Institute or Het Institute if you want it in Dutch. Uh, these are the only English books I have on the next two books shelf because I didn't have place to put this one everyone, everywhere else. These are one of the books I have read, so those are not only on my TBR anymore, but if I want to reread it, it's possible to do. We have Everything, Everything by Nicola Jung, Sadie by Courtney Summers, All oh, Twisted Secret by, I thought it was by Diana Urban, yes. The Castle by Karen McManus, uh, Daughter of the Tea by Rebecca Yarnan, this is a standalone, not a series, yet, properly. The Fountain Hour Stars by John Green. The Bob Day in the End by Anna Silvera. Final Girls by Riley Saker. It ends with us with Colleen Hoover. Turks All the Way Down by John Green. Five Feet Apart is by multiple writers. Let You Bore by Tracy G1, I thought. Yes. Home Before Dark by Riley Saker. And then we go to my Dutch books. I have a series by Karen Slaughter. I don't know the English titles actually, so I'm going to so we have the first book uh, of Karen Slander in the series. It's called Blind Blindsided in English, and in the Dutch title it is Nachtschade. Then we have the second book. And this second book is called Kiss Cuts in English, and the Dutch title is Zoonover. Then we have the third book, and again, I need to look up what the original title is. And that is A Fate of Cold Fear. It's the original English title. And we I we translated to een, een licht koude huiver in. I have So Leuke Leefde by Kali Raid, and that is the translation title for Sasha van H. Then we have the Nicholas Flamel series. Uh, this is the first book, this is the second book, third. I don't know what's four, five, or six, but those are based on the immortal mall. Nicholas Flamel. It's a great series. I didn't finish it yet, but I read the first book and I did write the second book and I really enjoy it. It's a little bit like Harry Potter. Then we have my Dutch copy of <laughs> The Invisible Life of Ellie Rue, and we call it Het Onzichtbare Leven van Ellie Rue by V. Schwab, of course. Het Boek van Stof, or the Book of Dust by Philip Pullman. It's the first book in the series. We have Lockdown by Peter May. I have a small Joe Nesbo book. And if you didn't know Joe Nesbo, he's a uh, writer in... I thought he was a Norwegian writer or Swedish. I don't know. Yeah, he's from Norwegian. So the original title is hard to pronounce. So I will not put myself into that. Then I have this beautiful... Beautiful cover by of the book from Lionel Taylor and this Stranger Dream Online. Then the Dutch title is Sonderlin. Then we have a Dutch book, uh, Unsinkable by Lotte van der Noord, is about conspiracy uh, theories about the Titanic. I really enjoy it. They have an English copy of it out in the world. 
Then we have confetti regen by Splinter Chabot. It's a touch tight, so I will translate it for you. Again, we go to this one. This is our my Detective Helen Craze series by MJ Arlich. Then we have a book what is translated from German because the original title uh, book is in German. We have Erebus and Erebus Online. This one is book one and this is book two. Then we have the Dutch book first copy of The Court of Thorns and Roses. Or the Dutch translation is The Hof van Thorns and Roses by Sarah GMS. Then I have here an. Uh, Classic Frankenstein is in Dutch. On the graphic novel, uh, 67 seconds. Um, then we have Divergent. And the second book, Insurgent, but we call it Opstand. A Fire and a Girl Wrath. Then we have the Hunger Games series in Dutch. We have the Ballade of Sonne and Zandvogels, or the Ballad of. Uh, I don't know how the English title is, probably. The Ballad of Thumbers and Snakes, that's the original title. And I am better putting books away when while filming. So, then we have The Hunger Games, The Hunger Games Catch a Fire, Hunger Games and the Mocking Jane, the third book. Then we have a some summoner series, book one and two. I have The New Alien and The Edela. Then we have a book by Stephen Carber. I probably few you feel like you know her. She wrote Carnival and this book is Het Zwarte Hart, but translated to English is Caraval. Why we translated it weird? I don't know. We have a deadly allocation by Naomi Novik, and how we translate it to the Dolico Undolico line. So, yeah. This is the part of my last bookshelf. We have Sherlock Holmes, Alice Adventures in Wonderland, and Through the Glass, and some non fiction. Is this part my Harry Potter part? Um, I have some illustrated Harry Potter edition. I have the first one, The Philosopher's Stone, and the person of Azkaban, the third book. I have some print copy of here. My Kindle is also laying down here. My Hermione one is here, and then we have, of course, the Harry Potter series. We have here book one, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, third book, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, fourth book, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, fifth book, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, the sixth book, the Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince, and now we have the Deadly Hallas. So yeah, so that was my bookshelf tour of what is going on right now. Probably it will change because I know myself. I cannot hold myself accountable to one bookshelf setting. Of course, if I buy some new books, those switch, but I am not allowed to buy. Any more copies of books till I have finished all my physical TBR books. It's really hard. I broke it already two, twice. I broke it, but I really want to keep me accountable to it. So yeah. But I hope you really liked this video. Like I would like to show you guys. Um, I want to say thank you for watching to the end of this video. If you're still watching, I hope you do. <laughs> I don't know. But I will see you next time. Please like and subscribe before you leave. And I will definitely see you next time. Bye.